I hear something. Maybe it's the dragon. Do you see the dragon? Ooh. Hi, I'm Ron Burgundy, here with breaking news on the rapidly developing situation with American minks. They're little creatures about the size of your average house cat, but don't let their cuddly appearance fool you. Minks are some serious carnivores. They eat everything from mice to rabbits to fish to snakes to frogs to birds, which qualifies them as tertiary consumers. This appetite of theirs is causing some real problems in Europe, where the mink is an invasive species. Our science correspondent, Lydia Tran, has more info on the mink. Hit it, Lydia. Thanks, Paul. Scientific name for the American mink is the Neobison bison. It is a semi-aquatic species that is native to North America. Minks mostly live near the water in thick vegetation and burrows that are usually 4 inches in diameter, 2 to 3 feet deep, and 10 to 12 feet long. They are not picky with their burrows, but normally live on rivers or canals near urban areas or in undisturbed rocky coastal habitats. American minks are promiscuous animals that do not stay with their mates. Their mating season begins around February to April and normally produce four kits per season on average. That's a whole lot of minks! <laughs> it sure is, Lydia. Maybe that's why they're so invasive. Let's go now to our on-location reporter, Sarah Morgan, for the lowdown on that one. Sarah? Thanks, Ron. I'm here at a local mink farm in Britain. People have been operating farms like this one for fur since the 1920s, using imported American minks. Some of the minks have escaped and went feral, surviving on their own in the wild. This might seem like a small problem, but minks eat important animals, such as fish, chickens, birds, and even newborn lambs. Since minks have no natural predators here, their population growth is unchecked, and prey populations are heavily affected. Invasive minks cause economic damage by killing farm animals and decreasing the productivity of local farms. Worse yet, they significantly harm the biodiversity of the area. Minks are on their way to becoming the worst invasive species in Europe. Back to you, Ron. Thanks, Sarah. That sounds like quite a predicament over there. Fortunately, there are things we can do to fix it. Mink populations can be manually reduced in a process known as culling. It might seem wrong to eradicate an animal from an area, but just think of all the defenseless creatures that are preyed on by the mink. Cullings have made progress on controlling the minks, so all we need is your political will to finish this job and restore the balance of nature. This concludes our emergency broadcast. Thanks for your patience, and remember, Watch out for those minks. For all of us here at the News Center, I'm Ron Burgundy. You stay classy, San Diego. Now, tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. Paul? Oh.